a lot of marketers just don't think about this. If you're running your campaigns, you know, you're seeing, you're seeing your click-through rates good, you know you're driving the calls. Once it gets to the contact center, or the business location, or wherever you might be driving that call to, you know, wipe your hands and, you know, not your problem anymore if that's up to the contact center. But I think that's a dangerous line of thinking because if there's a poor experience happening in the contact center, whether it's a technical issue that might be occurring long hold times, um, the agents don't know the products well enough, that takes your conversion rate. That's, that's, that's your money you spent to drive those calls. And if the contact center is doing something wrong, you need to know that in order to be able to fix it. And you know, it's, it's natural that most marketers just don't really have access to that visibility into the contact center. You know, you sit over here, the contact center is way over here. You're in different states, you're in different countries. You don't know who these people even are. Um, but if you can't see what's happening, you have no way to fix it. You have no way to collaborate with that team. You have um, no, no common language to speak with since you're not working off the same data. And that hurts your budget, that hurts customer lifetime value, and that does hurt the marketer. You know, it's, it's not the contact center's problem, it is, it is your problem and you need visibility into it. Um, and, and Lorenzo at uh, Kinetic by One Stream Mirror Communications Company uh, is an excellent example of this. Um, they basically, like, like, a lot, like a lot of organizations, their marketing and sales teams, you know, Lorenzo said himself, they treated it like a church and state. Um, they were just passing each other in the hallways. They weren't working together. Um, and by implementing Invoca, they got full visibility into the, into the customer journey, not just in the marketing side, but on the sales side as well. And they took this opportunity to make sure that both teams can work together. And the big thing they did is they kind of got rid of, you know, the, the old adage of, of sales and marketing butting heads. You know, marketing says like, oh, we're sending leads and you're not closing them. And sales is over here, like, nope, those leads suck. You gotta send us better leads. And it, it gets rid of that argument with data. And they're able to look at this, see what marketing is passing, see how sales is converting it, and figuring out how that they could come together and improve it. And they did this, you know, in just seven months, they, they already 7X their ROI on what they invested uh, in Invoca. And they beat their, in that first year, they beat their acquisition goal by 150%. Um, and a big part of that was being able to speak the same language, being able to have that shared data set and bring the sales and marketing teams together and giving everyone the same kind of visibility. Mm -hmm.